What's up guys, welcome back to Unbox Junkie. My name is Matt and today we're looking at a projector. This one comes from a company called Vivibright. This is the GP100 top end home theater projector. It supports up to 1080p, but it has a native resolution of 1280 by 800. It's a 3200 lumens lamp, but it's LED. They're saying that it'll last 30,000 hours. That means that you can basically play this eight hours a day for 10 years before the lamp on this thing runs out. That's crazy, that's awesome. Because the worst thing about projectors is having to keep up with the with the lamps, and those are usually pretty expensive. But if it lasts you 10 years, you could just use this as, a, as your TV if you wanted to. The distance in which this needs to be placed away from the projector screen is between four feet and 24 and a half feet. That'll get you a 60 inch to 180 inch screen. The aspect ratio is 16 by nine or four by three. It does have a five watt built-in speaker. It also has Bluetooth 4.0 and Wi-Fi, so that's that's pretty good. It has Android GUI. Okay, let's open this thing up. Oh yeah, oh that's light. I mean, it's not too light, but that's light. I'm just super strong, but that's light. And then you've got your cable pack. In the pack, you get a bunch of stuff. Let's see, you've got your owner's manual with a bunch of a bunch of stuff. Okay, you've got a 3.5 millimeter jack to RCA female video and audio. Comes with a nice real microfiber cloth. You got a pretty basic remote. You got your power flip. If you have this um, on a ceiling mount you, and you have it upside down because that's how you'd mount it, you get the little flip button so it'll flip the image. Looks like a back button Then you get your direction pad, your volume, and your menu, play and pause. Does it come with batteries? It didn't come with batteries. I guess I'm gonna have to get my own batteries. Pfft. Then we got a pretty basic fat power cable and you've got a VGA cable. I'm not even gonna take that out because who cares about the VGA? All right. Oh, oh, that is slick. Okay, so you got your menu button, you got your directional pad, your enter, power, back. You got your focus knob, so this is how you're gonna focus and zoom. I can't tell if that's, oh, the speaker is down at the bottom, it looks like, okay. So you got your vents, it's very well vented, that's for sure. Now you got your lens cap, it's a nice big fat lens. Look at that, that is some serious lens. Now on the back, you can do headphone or just AV, which that's what this is for, not that, this. You've got your remote, IR sensor, two USB ports, two HDMI inputs, RJ45, Ethernet LAN port, and then of course you got your VGA. So then you got your fan intake, you got your power and your power switch. And then at the bottom, you got a nice little stand so you can set it up like this. Now I don't think that's adjustable, no. Now this, I believe this is a filter. Ah, there we go, okay, yeah. Every now and then you're gonna probably take a can of air, clean that out. There you go, a little air filter. Keep it clean, that way it stays nice and cool. If you don't, over time, dirt will build up and then it'll overheat and you don't want that. Okay, so I'm gonna find some batteries and we're gonna set this thing up. Let's do movie magic, hold on. Okay, uh, movie magic, uh, magic. Okay, uh, I'm gonna need a projector screen. Dang, it just got, <laughs> it just got super white in here. Okay, uh, all right, so I'm gonna set this up and then we're, I'm gonna turn it on. Let's go. I'm actually pleasantly surprised here. Uh, it looks really good. Here's where you can choose your inputs, your video inputs. You can go into your settings and you can see, so you can see it's running on Android version six, but you got all your different options. You can actually hook up a keyboard, which that's what I did. I hooked up my Logitech keyboard. I just plugged it in, in the back, using the uh, USB dongle. One thing that I noticed is that using this remote, it's very limited. It doesn't have like, you know, it doesn't have a keyboard on it or anything like that, so it's pretty limited. So switching to a keyboard like this with an actual touchpad mouse, you actually can control it. So they got some basic stuff on here, gallery, happy cast, you got your Play Store. Uh, let's check out YouTube, let's see how well it plays. Wow, that came up pretty quick. Okay, cool. Yeah, that looks pretty good. That's actually really sharp. Let's try a 1080 test, let's just get it. Shut up, Matt. Oh, man. And the volume gets really loud. Here, let's crank it up. That's pretty loud, actually. I'm surprised. Okay, so, um, whoa. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna plug in my, my laptop. I don't know if there's any movies on there, but I'm gonna see, wow, that is so bright. Uh, and then I'll run like a game. I think I still have Subnautica on my laptop, but let's try it out. Okay, cool, so you can see, it, uh, you got, I got my laptop on, which that was really easy to do. Hey, 
That looks no, that looks you think she epic. Wear it as a hat. Wow, that's, that's what I said. That is so clear. Okay, uh, let's try a game. Wow, impressive. Wow. Oh my God, it's so big. Holy crap. This is a sharp image. Here we go. Oh yeah, I could totally play games on this. This is fantastic. All right, I'm sold. I am sold. Okay, yeah, this thing is freaking awesome. It's got me sold for like 200 bucks. Definitely worth it. I mean, you saw it yourself. Vivid, bright images, really sharp. It's got clear image. I mean, for something this cheap for a full-blown projector, pretty good. You could also game on this. Usually projectors this good run like 500 plus dollars. Vivi Bright did it right. They're pretty good. I really wish that they would have taken a little bit of more time. Maybe had one of those flip things where on the back side you had like a full blown keyboard. But overall it does work. Overall though it's pretty good. It's, it feels like it's pretty well built. Not only that but because it's LED it's not going to draw a whole bunch of power. But because it is LED it's going to last you 30,000 hours which is great. Great. All right, guys, well, I'm going to leave a link down in the description below. As usual, I highly suggest going to check this out. If you're in the market for a projector, this is definitely a good way to go. But as for now, get out of here.